It's a vlog camera. <laughs> are we vlogging? I think we are. Good morning, guys. It is a long day. It is just it's started. A long day. I'm gonna tell them the whole story about last night later. Yeah. Um, we're about to, we're going, we're not about to, we're going to the grocery store. Oh gosh, I don't put my coffee in the spill. Okay, hold on. I always get nervous grabbing this coffee thing. Where you get this? Where'd that water bottle come from? Oh, baby. I think it was from when I went paintballing with the guys. Oh. Yeah, in hindsight, we probably should have put the lids on here. That's what I was just thinking. Okay, so <clears throat> we are on our way to the grocery store. Very um, fast. Based on what the title of this video is going to be, I'm sure you're going to be ready for all the details and stuff. But um, we're going to go grocery shopping first. I know it has to be in class in about an, uh, about two hours from now. So we're going to go get groceries done first. We've got a lot of things we need to get, like literally everything. Everything. So I figured I'd take you guys along a little bit to see what we get. <laughs> okay guys, we are back in the grocery store. We didn't really vlog because we had to we were kind of in a hurry. Uh focus! So ah! gonna... Did you miss me? Oh he's excited! He's crazy! He's crazy! Ah! Oh okay, okay. Ah! Also, I got coffee drip down. I spilled coffee down my shirt while we were driving. It's okay. So ignore that. Um, I'm gonna set the camera somewhere and show you everything. That, not show you everything we got, but like we're gonna put it up and show you some things. It's okay. One thing we got. These are the immaculate cookies. These are the best. These are gluten free and non dairy. They are delicious. They are literally. Okay, I'm gonna organize real quick. We have some stuff in there we need to throw out. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah, I have tons of creamer. I think I'm gonna get some more creamer. Um, another thing we got, this is the Ezekiel bread. I see so many YouTubers get this. I don't know what's so special about it, but I'm excited to find out. It, it was like in the freezer section. Okay, another thing we got, these are the Light Life Smart Dogs. These are veggie hot dogs. Uh, they taste incredible. They taste pretty much just like regular hot dogs, but they're meatless. And they're better for you than regular hot dogs. They're actually good for you. Life hack. We got two spaghetti squash because I've never had it and we, we want to try it. So we got two, even though we've never had it, we don't know if we'll like it. But it looks like it, it always looks so good when people eat it, so. These are the garden burger. These are the black bean burgers and it has brown rice, black beans, corn, red peppers, and green chili. I love black bean burgers, it will be good. And then I also got these Morningstar Buffalo fake chicken patties. These are delicious. These are probably one of my favorite things. All right, I'm ready to talk to you guys. Um, I got my blanket mainly to cover up my coffee spot, which I guess this is the whole point of me making this vlog channel so I can do more personal style videos. You know, I wanted to do them for a while on my channel. I kept saying I was gonna do them and I never did. Uh, more videos about like what my home life was like, my personal life, drama life type stuff, everything. And then I haven't done them and that's why I made this vlog channel. So. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I actually haven't promoted the vlog channel once. Maybe I will when this video goes up. I haven't promoted it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, anything. Um, so the fact that there's still like, it's like three, almost 4,000 of you that just like found it, it's pretty cool, so thank you. So the first thing I wanna talk about is something that happened with me last night. It was so out of the ordinary. Now, if you look at my main channel, the past three weeks my views have gone down so much. Um, but it's not just me apparently, it's something going on with YouTube. I've spoken with my manager and she was like, no, like you can't stress about it. It's nothing that you did. Um, it's more like something that's going on with the algorithm. It's affecting a lot of people's videos. Apparently like my videos aren't showing up everywhere and like a lot of people are having that going on. So if you are one of the YouTubers who, if your views just kind of like, like went down like all of a sudden after like the past like maybe three weeks, month ago, it's completely something with YouTube and it's not something that we did, which is what my manager says. But, and she's like speaking directly with YouTube. Um, I also saw Rachel Levin or RCL Beauty who usually gets like 7 million views. Um, her views dropped and I saw she tweeted that three weeks ago her views just like stopped all of a sudden. So it is it is a YouTube thing to make people feel better. But either way it's still been very stressful because YouTube is my job and um, it just kind of can get a little disheartening when you're posting videos and no one's seeing them and like uh, it makes you feel like what's the point to be completely honest. But um, 
It just, it just been making me really down. As you guys know, I deal with very severe anxiety. When I say anxiety, I don't mean slight anxiety. I deal with very severe anxiety. I've never really talked about this. Um, I deal with depression. I deal with a lot of different things, a lot of very unhealthy mental health issues. But yesterday was a good day. I had a really great time. We went over to Noah's mom's house and she made a lot of really yummy food and we all watched um, like a movie or something and we were all hanging out. We had the dogs there and it was such a fun time. And I had a great day. And then Noah and I get home and he like starts tickling me or something and I'm laughing and we're in a great mood. I'm laughing. And then all of a sudden my laughing turns into crying. And I don't mean like laughing so hard you cry. I mean all of a sudden it like switched and I was laughing and I was like, no, stop, stop, stop. And all of a sudden I was sobbing, like sad crying. And I noticed all of a sudden I was really sad. I was sobbing in the middle of laughing. I know that sounds so freaking weird. And I was like, are you okay? What's going on? And the thing is this has happened before and we just kind of played it off. Like it wasn't a big deal. We didn't really know. He's like, this is really weird. Maybe you should Google it. Maybe like... Um, maybe something is it's maybe laughing is like triggering your eyes to cry from LASIK. We didn't know what it was, but I googled it and a psychology, The psychology website comes up and was talking about how if If you're someone who tends to hide your emotions and like just hides them deep down and like pushes them away As if they're not bothering you that you may have just built up so much have so much pent-up emotion um, That you've just kind of hidden away and then you just kind of are trying to forget about that when you have put let your guard down say if you're laughing you're completely let your guard down it kind of opens the floodgates and it just pours out which was really interesting and i was like that doesn't make any sense but i was really sad um and the psychology website was the best thing to do is identify what makes what is making you sad and as soon as i read that i don't know why but i just started blabbering and venting to noah about how sad i was and i didn't even realize how sad i am sometimes um and it's weird, you know, it's, I was just telling him how sad I am about my views and my videos and how much I stress and I don't know, maybe it probably is just nonsense. It probably doesn't, I'm sure most people don't care and that's fine, but I just, I guess I just have to folk really figure out what my issue is and what is making me so upset. I will reanalyze every little thing that like something that's not important will become a huge mountain of importance to me. For example, like my thumbnails. I will go through this thing where I'll post like a neutral thumbnail or a colorful one and then I'll second guess myself and then I'll tweet and ask everyone if they like the thumbnail. I'll do Instagram polls to see if people like neutral or colorful better. I'll search on, I'll watch every single person's YouTube channel to see which thumbnails that they, that they think do the best. And it's like, Lindsay, why don't you just post what you want to post? And then I will post the video and then I will analyze every single thing. I will literally change. I think I have, no one thinks I might have some kind of OCD. Maybe I should go see someone. I will post a video and then I will literally change the title around like five to seven times after the video has gone up. Um, I'll should do that with the description, the tags, the, the thumbnail. I redo thumbnails three or four times for each video within like the first two days because I can't get happy with it. And it's not just like, oh, I'm not uh, happy with it. It's like I stress out to the point that I won't talk and I just sit at my computer and like obsess over it. It's like I will go through these times, but I just, I don't sleep. Last night, um, I was up till 6.30 in the morning, which is really bad. And... It wasn't because I, I didn't feel like I was stressing, but I couldn't stop thinking. I would just literally, I would close my eyes and I would just think and think and think. And I would try and tell myself not to think. And then I would get stressed about how much I was thinking. And before you knew it, we lay down at midnight. It was six in the morning and Noah's alarm went off. And I was like, how's your alarm going off? I haven't fallen asleep yet. And I was like, you haven't fallen asleep yet. Yeah, like it's, it gets really bad. So it's gotta just be anxiety and maybe it's just gotten to the point that i need to talk to someone or something um i go through days where i'll be so anxious i'll forget to eat i'll go through days like not super often you know i go through plenty of times when i'm i go through days when i feel so much better but then all of a sudden i think because i stress about youtube it like triggers my anxiety um or i stress about something i stress about what people think about me or any i stress about the dumbest things that i didn't do for so long um it's just gotten kind of bad recently i guess and then I won't sleep. There'll be times when Noah just knows, like he just knows I'm not gonna sleep. So he'll stay up with me. Or times that I will just be quiet all day and I just kind of, I'm like a zombie on my phone. And it's just, it's bad. And it's not fair to me to let myself do this. It's not fair to Noah. It's just not, it's not good for me. It's definitely not good for me. And I don't wanna be like this. You know, I want, I don't want to start laughing and be a, all of a sudden burst out in tears because I've let my guard down enough that my body can finally cry. 
Like that's sad, that's heartbreakingly sad. No things I need to go talk to someone maybe, maybe figure out what the issue is. I think I need to take more time to do things that I want, not even if it's, not even YouTube wise, just in general, like take time to do normal things. I spend almost every hour doing stuff with YouTube and I don't really ever do anything else. So I think that could be a big part of it. And I think I also have got to learn to just put a video up and then walk away. And deep down, I don't think it is YouTube. You know, the more I talk about it, I think that it's just something with my mental health. And I think I might need to talk to someone. Um, I've considered getting on medicine before, but I... Something about anxiety medicine, like, makes me nervous to get on it. Or I don't know what kind of medicine they put me on. I don't know if it'd be anxiety medicine, depression medicine, OCD medicine. I don't know. I guess I, I, guess I should, would talk to someone and find out. Uh, maybe let me know it i don't know how many people are going to watch this video but if you have ever dealt with anxiety or pressure and ocd like if medicine has helped you because deep down i realize it's not the youtube video that's a problem because when i'm clear-headed right now i do know that my views are going to be fine i know that my manager is right and then within a month or so they'll be back to normal and i won't i won't even think about that again so i know it's more like my mind is unhealthy if that makes sense um, it's crazy how you start talking and venting, how it kind of comes out, the answer comes out. Uh, it's kind of like this is my therapist. I don't know. I think another thing that will help me also is this vlog channel because I've always really wanted to put out stuff about my life. Stuff I want to be more real and open with you guys and it's kind of hard to do it on my main channel because it's always been beauty, fashion, lifestyle, which is fine because I do enjoy those as well. Uh, I just think it's going to be nice to have this second outlet where I can just talk. And I think I also stress about like things that other goals I had in life. Like, I don't know if I've told you that, guys this, but I really want to write a book. And I don't want to write like a, not a biography, bi biography, not any kind of like, not a YouTube book. Um, I just want to, uh, separate from YouTube, I just have always wanted to write. Um, I've always wanted to write like a young adult book, like a teen, like a fantasy book. I read tons of like YA fantasy books. Like, I am not ashamed. This is the, um, daughter of smoke and bone trilogy i'm on the second one right now and i love books like this you know they just keep me feeling i love them it's just a great escape so i've always wanted to write one and i actually have a book idea that i've had for a while and i think maybe if i start that as maybe the side project that could be really good for me uh, i just need to do other things with it and i probably need to go talk to someone like i've said i he's noah's probably absolutely right um it is great how supportive he is. I am so lucky. You don't understand. Like, so many people, when you sit there and complain, like, right now, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people that are going to be like, oh, my God, she's just complaining about nothing. When that's fine. Some people don't understand mental health, and that's okay. Because it probably sounds like I'm complaining about nothing when I literally, and it probably is nothing. So this is, which is why I'm saying it's got to be something with my mental health. It's not just, it's not the actual, what I, it's not when I say, oh, it's my videos. It probably really is, like, I need to go talk to someone. It's probably completely something else. Um. Which a lot of you guys will understand that I did not have a great growing up. Which one day maybe I will talk about it. I actually filmed my entire Draw My Life and I couldn't even edit it. I sobbed the whole way through the Draw My Life talking. I, so I was sobbing trying to edit it and I just didn't want to post it. I'm just not ready to talk about it. Even if things are sad, it's like I don't want to cry through it. Because um, I don't want people to feel bad for me. You know, that's not, that's not the goal. That's not the aim because I, no matter what my childhood life was like, like I feel like I have crawled out and become you know like look at where i'm at now so i don't ever want someone to feel bad for me or other than to feel happy for me because it's almost like a, it's a great story you know talking about where i came from and what's happened with me to where i'm at now it's an incredible story but when i'm crying through all of it it's kind of hard for anyone to understand that so i would like to refilm it eventually i'm not ready yet all right guys i know i said i was pretty much done vlogging for the day but i'm on my computer right now noah just got home what you gotta pee. <laughs> but I just got oh no, I didn't just get home. Noah just got home and he brought me Starbucks. He's like, I know you had a rough night last night, so I thought I would bring you a little pick me up. I'm gonna I like almost wanna cry. I love, I love you. That's so sweet to think about me like that. I'm literally tearing up right now. <laughs> um he got me a grande I have, I have salted caramel mocha with half of the pumps. Or is it two pumps? What is it usually? I don't know. I just said just half because I think they did like, so they did normally half, do like eight pumps Because they do way together. too much usually. Yeah. Um, and you got it with coconut milk and no whipped cream. He knows me so well. Fuck, I didn't make sure they spelled your name right too. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there That's we my go. Boy. <laughs> that was cute. So cute. Was, uh, his shoes got really dirty, so I wanted to surprise him with some new shoes. Let's see it's if probably he probably because she didn't want to smell them anymore. <laughs> Let's see if you like them. Well, thank you very much. I love you. It looks better. You promise? 
I promise. Okay. I'm not just saying that because of that. Okay, make I sure. promise. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. We love you very much. And no one has so lots much. of homework today, so. All the homeworks. We'll see you tomorrow. Night. <laughs>